Hi you guys, good morning, it's Monday morning. Yes, I'm in my front yard in my pajamas. Um, I just came to see the trimming that mom did. I look awful, I know I do. So sorry. <laughs> but you guys have already seen this over and over again. Um, I just made my keto bulletproof coffee. So I'm gonna go drink that. I made that and then I came outside to see the trimming, how much, that's a yucca tree. That yucca tree is the same exact age of this house, which is, hmm, let me do the math. Hold on, I'll be right back for that Okay, one. so I came back in here to do the math on my calculator. This house is 40 years old. Damn, tree's 40 years old. It's an oldie. Um, <coughs> I'm going to put my glasses back on because I'm so thrash looking. Um, so I got up. I weighed myself this morning, which I wasn't normally going to do it, but I could feel. You know how your body, I'm going to take this away. My body, I could feel the shift. I could feel a difference this morning. Not in the weight per se, but the way my body felt. So the four days of inter intermittent fasting last week, and then my weekend of, okay, I did four days of intermittent fasting last week. So I think that is a big part, a huge percentage of what helped today. Um, a friend of mine, who's been helping her daughter. Her daughter's been on keto for, I think, a year or two years. Some, a year. And she's lost quite a bit of weight, but she, too, has hit plateaus. And I say plateaus um, plurally because it's, I guess it's a regular thing. And her mom is my friend, so uh, she was telling me, you know, I was, I was griping about my situation on Facebook. And so my friend's like, you know what, Patty, um, my daughter goes on, she ha she will have a cheat day. No, not day. A cheat meal. That's what she said, a cheat meal. And, um, and for some reason that just kicks her right back into, gets everything going again after that cheat meal. I, I think it takes like a day or two or whatever, maybe even three, to get back into ketosis. But, you know, in fact, I need to research how long it takes to get back into ketosis. That's one thing I haven't researched yet. So... I was like, oh, yay, I'm going to run across town, go to the east side to Root Bear King. I love that place. That's my favorite junk food. I don't know. It's just the regular little meal that's a cheeseburger and their fries. They have those crinkle fries. Oh, so good. Anyway, their regular little meals, like $5 or under $5. And I used to get that all the time when I worked at, at the hospital right there. And, um... Sorry, you guys. Um, so that's the first thing I thought of. Or go further east down Niles and go to Pops. If you're local from here, oh my God, I've gained so much of my weight at Pops. When I used to work um, at that hospital, me and my friends would go uh, at least twice a week to Pops. They have the best fries. The burgers are huge. So yeah, I, I love reminiscing about my favorite junk food places to go eat. Um, but going back to what I was saying, I chose not to cheat, to have a cheat meal, but I did eat extra, extra, how should I, extra calories. You know, I'm supposed to keep at a certain number of calories. Is that my nose breaking out? Um, I just had extra calories. I made myself my keto, uh, cheese cake without crust. And I kept dipping into that with a free spoon. And that was just so delicious. So, I'm back on track. 
I weighed myself this morning. Like I said, I'm back down. Um, I've I'm back down to my total 40 pounds that I've lost plus an additional two. So I'm at a total of 42 pounds down Monday. Today's Monday, uh, October 29th. So this is me tracking. I should be tracking it in the calendar. I'm not. Maybe I'll start doing that. Somebody also in one of the forums told me, suggested to me, strongly suggested that I track my macros, my calories and all that, my water intake, my walking exercise, you know, etc., whatever. And to start all that stuff. So I used to do that in the beginning for about a week. And then I just stuck to the same things that I was eating. And as you guys know, I didn't start exercising until four weeks later. And I probably have a total of three days of exercising. Um, yeah. Huevona. I'm a huevona. Um, so, yeah. That's my keto update. I'm going to, right now, finish my laundry. Go take a shower. Wash my hair. Put my makeup on. I'll probably try to film while I'm putting my face on. And then I'm going to film a haul. A small haul, but a haul. A fun haul. So, we'll see you. So, I back. just made my bed. Threw my things on there. My work keys. My car keys. My work pens. Empty bottle. Wow, you're making me look really harsh on I'm watching right? Crafty Girl. I love her. Okay. Been watching her for years. I love all of her. She's a Dollar Tree queen. <laughs> And she does awesome. Um, she does awesome uh, Dollar Tree DIYs, especially for the holidays. I love all her fall, especially her fall videos. I'm about to go in the shower, you guys. I'll be back. That is what I use for my work. Look, let me go to work. Sorry about the camera because, you know, maybe for Christmas Santa Claus will bring me a real camera for vlogging. Okay, we'll guys, it's my Monday. I'm in the car. Um, rushing. Cuando no. Ugh. When am I not rushing, right? Okay, I did a, I did a, um, this is my natural look, my neutral work look. So I, I filmed me putting it on. 
hopefully I can do a good edit on it. We'll see. Well, you will have already seen it by the time you're hearing this. So, fingers crossed for right now, in real time. <laughs> Hope y'all are having or had had a wonderful Monday and a even better Monday evening. We'll see you guys in the a.m.